Yo, what is good, you guys? It's the last just dropped an update, so I'm gonna go ahead and break down every single change that came with it, as well as show you guys all the new content. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it. All right, so let's start off with the brand new Don Lorenzo rebalance. His first skill, Zombie Dribble, has gotten a slight nerf in that he can only dash two times now instead of three. Not really a big change if you ask me, but I guess it's cool. Next up, Zombie Dribble's other variant, Zombie Walk, got a really nice buff in that it no longer has any end lag. So you can just go ahead and go straight into a dribble once the move ends now. Alright, the next change is to his passing skill, Undead Crash, which had its speed buffed by 10%. This is super hard to notice if you ask me and it just seems like filler, but Undead Crash also had some interesting changes made to the chemical reaction with King. Basically now the person on King only has like 15 seconds to shoot after receiving the ball until they can no longer do the chemical reaction. Next up, Defensive Stance got a 25% increase to its hitbox size going from 20 studs all the way to 25. This change is very noticeable as you can see in these clips and I think it's a pretty nice buff. Okay, so next up is Hervic Intercept's Mark variant, which got its pass range reduced by a whole 50%, meaning that it's only got two grids of range now. Its pass speed also got reduced by 10%, which is completely unnoticeable, but one of the most interesting changes that came to this move is that you can now force yourself to do the dribble variant by simply holding W, which is really nice. Now for the biggest changes coming to Don Lorenzo, the way he uses flow has gotten a big rework. Instead of Ace Eater forcing you to use all three variants before a short timer runs out, you can now hold on to each use for as long as you want with a cooldown in between uses now. Another really awesome change is that you can use Ace Eater's off the ball variant to work towards your shot variant. So for example, you could start with an on the ball Ace Eater, go into an off the ball Ace Eater, then finish off with a third on the ball Ace Eater and it'll do the third variant which shoots the ball. Unfortunately though, as of making this video, that's actually bugged and the off the ball variant will not work towards your shot. But by the time you're watching this video, that issue has probably already been fixed. Oh yeah, and each on the ball ace eater now also leaves your opponent stunned even longer. Don Lorenzo's price check has also pretty much gotten completely gutted. I'll put up the nerfs on screen here. I think the devs went way too harsh on this in my opinion, but the special definitely needed a nerf. But I mean, yeah, as you can see here, the speed debuff barely exists and the shot debuff also does not really do anything anymore. Don't get me wrong though, it's still definitely useful in some cases, but it's really just a shell of its former self now. Now I'm just going to run through some of the other changes in this update that aren't really that huge. Nagi's fake volley and lag is now easier to punish. Yukimiya sword screw can now be volleyed. Say's nutmeg now stuns the victim. Corona's guard dog can no longer bypass dribble and it no longer has end lag upon landing. Shigiri's golden zones tackle range got cut in half. Bachiro's counter distance got reduced from 165 studs to 135 studs. Monster Leap's hitbox for Bachiro now only extends to below the player's legs. And lastly some weird Kunigami changes that you can pause the video to read. We also got a brand new private server plus command that lets you recolor any style. Here's some really cool ones for you guys to try out. I did leave all of these down below in the description. However, some styles don't really have the ability to be recolored sadly. And I did find that Rin is the best one to try these out on. So do give that a shot. This update also came with some goalkeeper changes. You no longer gain flow inside the box and you gain extra flow for saving shots used from shooting skills. The AI goalkeeper also got some pretty nice buffs as well. And the devs decided to re-add goalkeeper deflections against high velocity shots. And to finish off this update, we got a couple new MVP animations which I'll put up on screen right now. So that's about all I've got for you guys today. Let me know if I missed anything and I'll see you on the next one.